as a kid, I drew a lot. In fact, I drew so much I was literally forced out of the house by my parents who thought it was unhealthy for me to sit there day after day drawing pictures. And uh, so I got into a little bit of football for kids and bicycling and, and things like that, playing. But uh, I drew a lot when I was growing up. I first realized that I had uh, a kind of an artistic, inventive frame of mind or ability when I was probably in the fifth grade. And uh, as a matter of fact, I sold my first artwork in the fifth grade. I think there were pictures of uh, Cocker Spaniels rendered in Prismacolor, and I sold them for about a quarter apiece. And I don't know how I arrived at a quarter, but it seemed uh, a fair price at the time. It probably pegged to the you know, price of a candy bar or something like that. I remember drawing uh, things with a future slant to them, probably as early as uh, 10 or 11. I fantasized and, and drew a very elaborate cross-section of this rocket ship. It had ballrooms and staircases and the captain's quarters and elaborately invented um, sort of architectural scale to it. Creative process for me is is uh, just creating a both a destination and on the way to doing that you have to learn to remember what you see because you have to construct scenarios that probably don't exist so you have to remember cues that have to do with uh, how things are uh, appear, how they're lit uh, things like time of day, things like lighting uh, uh, cues that, that are daylight, moonlight, artificial light. And as you draw over and over and over, you eventually get a, a kind of mental library of effects, I guess you'd call them. And then you create a scenario that doesn't exist, and you bring in all these familiar cues that you remember, and you put that together with the design and you end up with a believable, uh, really very logically, tightly constructed fantasy. I wrote to John Reinhardt, who at that time was head of styling for Ford Motor Company, sent some car pictures. He wrote back and said, if you like to design cars, you should go to the Art Center School. I got out of the Army in, uh, in Washington State, took a plane down the coast to Los Angeles, interviewed, showed them my uh, rather strange portfolio and was accepted for school that uh, September. And that's how I started to uh, go to Art Center. Industrial design is, is challenging because having gone through the formal education at Art Center School to learn the methodology of coming up with a, hopefully a new idea every time on schedule, and usually under time pressure and usually under a uh, budget or a fee pressure also. But what's fascinating about it is that you can find out how things are made, find out why they're made that way for a particular product, whether it's an automobile or a coffee maker or, or a pencil sharpener. And as the sort of the characteristics of design and fabrication move along, that changes absolutely why things look the way they do. So it's, it's a very dynamic profession. Then you take the, the methodology and the awareness of how the real world makes things and transfer that into the fantasy world, and all of your fantasy constructions can then be sort of recomposited and made into a format that looks logical even though they don't and probably never will exist.